So I've been uh, worrying about this damn day. <laughs> May 1st. I should be happy. It's my birthday month, baby! My birthday month. My birthday's in two days. I'm seeing Guardians on Thursday. Freaking awesome, awesome week. I'm looking forward to it. But today, I was fretting this day because... I had a dentist appointment and I've rescheduled this dentist appointment like four times because <laughs> I freaking hate going to the dentist. But I tell you what, I went to a new, same dentist, same office, but I had a new dental hygienist. It's the best freaking dentist appointment I've ever had. She said that I had great looking teeth, great looking gums, awesome dental hygiene. I was like, hell yeah. I didn't say that. I said, thank you. No cavities. Bam to no cavities, hell yeah. Now the week can open up, be a glorious week, a glorious birthday week. I'm gonna go hunt some pops. Going pop hunting. Because the Spider-Man pops came out. I want that glow in the dark vulture pop from GameStop. I want that unmasked Peter Parker Spider-Man homecoming pop from Hot Topic. I missed out on a chase this morning. My local Hot Topic posted a chase uh, for 15 minutes. But uh, the guy that Javier Bardem plays in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, that's a chase pop, and they sold that in 15 minutes this morning. I'm going to GameStop, and then I'm gonna go to Hot Topic, but I will see you guys soon. Hey, what's up everyone? So I am all done at GameStop. I was expecting to see a bunch of Spider-Man Homecoming stuff out on the shelf. They didn't have any of them out. So I had to ask them. They had them in the back. Um, so I asked him if they got the exclusive glow-in-the-dark vulture. And he goes, yes, we did. So um, he got those from the back. And I said, uh, can I take a look at them? And he goes, we only got two to choose from. So I was like, whoa. So I took a look. I picked the best one. But I got him. GameStop exclusive vulture from Homecoming. They only got two at my store. So I don't know if this is gonna be one of those rare GameStop exclusives, but you might wanna jump on that one rather quickly. I'm gonna to go to uh, Hot Topic right now, see what they got. Maybe I'll buy a couple pops there, but I'll see you guys later. At the mall now, Hot Topic. Hey, what's going on everyone? So I'm all done at Hot Topic and I did find the two pops that I was looking for and I even got them on sale. They had a, a buy one, get one 30% off. So I got them for about $10 and change each, but I did get the Spider-Man Unmasked Hot Topic exclusive. And I also got, this is badass right here, the Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow Hot Topic exclusive gold pop. Looking really, really awesome. Uh, I talked to the manager there and he said that uh, the uh, Captain Salazar, the chase, the, there was a guy waiting here. Now this store doesn't open till 10, okay? <laughs> there was a guy waiting at the front door at nine. Yeah, I had no chance at that chase. I got the two exclusives that I wanted. Three pops, lunchtime hunt, that's it for now and I will see you guys later. Hey, what's going on everyone? So I am actually back here at the Nerd Bar. It's all done, all painted. Mrs. Cincy did a great job with it. It looks fantastic. Looks like a brand new bar now. I'm happy to be back here at my normal location that I share my hauls and uh, reviews and stuff. So the first thing that I wanted to show you was something that I picked up at Walmart 
I finally caved in and bought the 12 inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure and it looks freaking awesome. I love this pose here. Um, I got it for 25 bucks. I know a lot of people are finding for like $10, $13, but I figured 25 bucks was a damn good price. Um, I think it looks fantastic. Let me show you how it looks here with the uh, Captain America and Iron Man figures. I also have the Deadpool. I haven't opened up the Deadpool yet, but let me just show you the things that it comes with, the alternate head sculpts, and then how it looks with these two guys as well. All right, so here he is. This is the 12-inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure. Looks fantastic. I love it. Love it, love it. Got a lot of great articulation on it. It's got like a ab crunch and a lower chest swivel. I don't really know how to explain that, but you can get them in some really cool crouched down, bent down uh, poses. Obviously, he's got the ankle pivot there. He's got that calf rotation. He's just a great looking figure and looks excellent. But uh, here he is with the uh, Captain America from the same series, the 12 inch Marvel Legends. Here he is with the Iron Man. I cannot wait for the Daredevil and for the Thor. That Thor looks really, really good. Everyone really likes the Daredevil, but I think the Thor looks fantastic. Uh, the Spider-Man comes with these two additional head sculpts. He's got the Peter Parker, and then he's got the full masked version. Obviously, I have the half masked version. I really like this head sculpt uh, the most, I think. Um, it's kind of like the same head sculpt from uh, Pizza Spidey. But it comes with some uh, additional hands. Right now I have one of the uh, web shooting hands and then one of these kind of like um, grabbing hands. I don't know, um, wall crawling hands. But it comes with another one of those wall crawling hands, another one of the uh, web shooting hands, and then two fisted hands as well. But uh, excellent purchase for 25 bucks. I absolutely recommend it. You can have a lot of fun posing this guy. He looks great. And uh, if you can get it for less than 25, absolutely hop on that deal. $10, $13, that's just a freaking steal. Because this is a great, great figure right here. All right, so the other two things that I wanted to show you, I'm gonna be uh, unboxing and giving you a short review on these two Mezco figures which I recently purchased. I got the Steve Rogers, the Commander Rogers figure right there. And I got the Daredevil figure from Comics to Games. And that is what he looks like. But uh, let me go ahead and unpackage these guys, unbox these, and I will be right back with you to show you what they look like out of package, show you all the accessories, and give you my thoughts on both. But I will be right back. All right, so here is, we're gonna start with the Mezco Daredevil figure. I got the red Daredevil, and here he is. So, this right here, is an awesome, awesome figure. And seeing it in package and seeing it really on video does this figure no justice. Once you get it in hand and you see how awesome it is, how detailed it is, uh, the articulation, you just really, really appreciate this figure. But he does come with a ton of extra stuff. Let me show you what he comes with. I have um, two of his little billy clubs in his hands and I've got the hands that hold those in there right now. But he does come with five extra sets of hands, a total of 10 extra hands. You could see there's a, looks like he's grabbing a punch there. He's got those hands right there. He's got the fisted hands. And then he's got those hands right there. He does come with uh, two alternate head sculpts. So here are the alternate head sculpts he comes with. He's got the uh, Matt Murdock maskless head sculpt and then he's got the I just got in a fight and got my mask ripped off partially head sculpt I have the regular head sculpt on right now I think it looks fantastic but just look at the level of detail on these figures uh, the Mezco figures do have cloth clothing so basically they're like six inch hot toys figures you can see the seam line right there but uh, I think they are absolutely amazing I love these things and like I've said in a previous video, once you buy one Mezco figure, they're like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Once you buy one Mezco, you can't stop collecting these things. You're gonna want another one and another one. He does come with that base. It's got a big red base that says DD. You can pop out the foot peg and you can put in this dynamic arm. 
So you can give him like a jumping pose or a fighting pose. And then he does come with this as well, which is that little, that little thing that they show in the comic books to show that he's got that extra sense. And then uh, this piece right here plugs into the back of this. You can kind of have it like this. And then the additional weapon that he comes with is just the two billy clubs with a wire, uh, metal wire in the middle. So you can do some interesting poses, like he's throwing the billy club. Those are all of his extra accessories. Let me show you a couple close-ups of this thing. So you can see like the uh, texture in the outfit. A little close-up on his face. Just excellent, excellent detail on these Mezco figures. All right, and the other figure that I'm gonna show you is the Commander Rogers figure. This one does not come with as many accessories, but it's still a very, very cool figure. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that one. All right, so this is the Commander Rogers Mezco figure. He's in his uh, Commander Rogers outfit. This is kind of the one that, um, the suit that Captain America first wore in the movie The Winter Soldier uh, when he's working for S.H.I.E.L.D. and doing the secret missions. That suit is loosely based on this outfit that he wore in the comic books. Uh, at this point in the comic books, he had actually relinquished his shield and given it over to Bucky because Bucky was the new Captain America. So this shield right here in the comic books is made of hard light. So it actually forms on his wrist. It's not an actual metal shield, it's made of light. Kind of like how Green Lantern works with his ring. But um, this is very, very cool because this is the shield right here. It's clear, as you can see, and there are no visible magnets on his arm, but there is a magnet under that sleeve there. So you can, just like the other Captain America, just attach it like that and it stays on his arm. It is magnetized. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, these straps that he wears, these tactical straps do have like a metal thing on the back. Attach the hard light shield to his back. I'm not sure why you would do that though, <laughs> because Technically, this thing forms out of his wrist, um, and it's light, so you wouldn't attach it to his back. But you can do that, just to let you know. Uh, I do have one of his accessories uh, with him. He comes with this big knife, which I think looks pretty badass. Um, here are the hands that I have in there right now. I like to use this hand for his shield holding hand because the shield actually has a little handle right there. Uh, but here are the other hands that he comes with. He comes with what looks like a saluting hand right there, a pair of those, two-fisted hands. So he comes with an additional saluting hand, a finger-pointing hand, and then a thumbs-up hand. And then here are the matches to the two hands that I have in there right now for his shield-holding hand and his knife-holding hand. But they do come with the, uh, the pairs right there. So you do get some additional hands. You do get one of these dynamic arms that you can plug in to the base, which the base looks pretty cool, uh, to give him a more dynamic fighting, jumping, falling, flying pose. But uh, this is just a very, very cool figure. Uh, excellent articulation, just like the Daredevil you just saw. Let me give you some close-ups on the actual outfit. The uh, shirt is kind of like um, spandex material, kind of like Under Armour, but uh, very, very cool. He only comes with this one head sculpt. There's no additional head sculpt on this one, but it's a very cool head sculpt. So let me show you how he looks with the other Captain America figure that I have by Mezco. All right, so here are the three Mezcos that I currently have in my collection. Here's the Daredevil, next to the modern Captain America, next to the Steve Rogers, but uh, they just look fantastic next to each other. Uh, I would definitely grab that Punisher, but he is sold out pretty much everywhere, and I can't really find him at a uh, decent price. But I am looking forward to picking up uh, more Mezco figures. Definitely want to pick up the classic Superman, which is coming out soon. I definitely want to pick up the Dark Side, which is also coming up soon. And uh, I also want to pick up the Flash. The classic Flash. I think that looks great. 
I think I need some more DC figures in my Mezco collection, but uh, I think this is a great start for my Marvel. I think they look fantastic. Just very, very well done. Excellent detail. Great articulation. Um, great clothing. Great accessories. All around excellent collectibles. All right, well, that is it for now. That's it for this video. Thank you for joining me. Hope you liked the uh, unboxing and review of these two Mezco figures and this awesome 12 inch Marvel Legends Spider Man figure. But that's it for now. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. Thank you for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. And as always, have fun collecting. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.